Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! Uh, good one, pal. <laughs> hey, I think Papyrus is having trouble in the kitchen. Uh, let me go locate the sauce of the problem. <laughs> Your shortcuts are getting very intricately placed, brother. Uh, th thanks, Pep. <laughs> what brings you to my kitchen drawer today? The kid is getting really forward and really good with puns. I don't know if I can take any more of that flirting. What's worse is that it's working. Oh, Toria would kill me if she knew about this. Flirting? we When I told the human that I would help them find second best from me, little did I know that it was my dearest brother! This is perfect! All you do is mope around the house like a lazy loner. What? Fret not, my brother, for I, the great Papyrus, shall aid you in the art of... <laughs> ...making love. Th th that's not what that means! Sans, are you hiding from me? M no, buddy, I, I was just, uh, uh... He was getting ready for your date at Groobies. What? Pat, no! Don't be silly, Sons. You need to do something today that isn't sleeping. You two look so cute. Don't come back until the date is done. Uh, so, buddy... You don't gotta go with me just cause Pep said to, you know? Uh, buddy? Why are you looking at me like that? So, you think I'm getting good at puns, huh? That's so flattering. Oh, God. Papyrus is still so innocent. He doesn't know how skilled at dating I've become. You'll become helpless to the prowess of my silly one-liners. So, where are we? Why did you bring me here? <laughs> First the amalgamate, and now the DT extractor. What's going on here? <laughs> hey, hey, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it hurts. What the? Huh? Sans? Sans, uh, are you alive? What happened to him? Seems like he's unconscious. I need to check for other injuries. And at the same time, I can find out how come a skeleton can be fat. I'm sorry, Sans, but the kingdom must know the truth. Nope. Skeletons can have personal space issues too, you know. Sans, we... Uh, we thought you were dead. We found your leg and... A leg that's not dust. But what happened to you? Well... I found a bottle of poison beside that hot dog stand. Went to investigate, met an old buddy of mine. Turned out he brought another buddy of mine with him. And that's how I got my bones trusseled. Huh? By the way, big boss, you haven't thought about bringing your escort with you, have you? No. Why? Well, then we're going to have a bad time. Very bad. Bad time. Sons! How? What? How? Long time no see. It's me. No, it can't be. You're. How can you ex- 
exist here because you are me. Please not make that mistake, Your Highness. In fact, you share memories of mean anything. You died back then. And a little bunch of your memories was put into me with your soul's essence. You are who you are, and I am who I am. End of story. Oh, now that there is this inseparate me, I realize I never needed your essence to awaken. By the way, did you like it? To have back your paws, your horns, and your other body parts, I mean. Too bad it won't last long. Oh, almost forgot. Your friend here kind of messed with our plans. I can be sure he's not a friend anymore. He used his last ounce of strength to push you away, and you didn't even fight back. Nothing's changed, Prince Azrael. You were pathetic, and you're still pathetic. You did a lot of wonder, right? After you sacrifice and bring them on the rules you were supposed to live. And because of a useless trash like you, that puny kid kept resetting this timeline, kept taking away every single hope and dream of your kingdom. Do you want to hear what really happened to Frisk, huh? Yes, I poisoned Frisk. And I brought this smiling trash man's jacket into the castle to make you guys care each other. Watching you all this time from the beginning. Mm. It's not ready yet, Asriel. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Did you just bleed? <laughs> it's so cute. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Determination. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> um, what you doing? Sleeping. You can't talk and sleep. I'm sleep talking and waiting. For what? A kiss. <laughs> well, you're missing an important detail. You see, I don't have lips. Anything is possible with determination. Sorry, kiddo. You'll have to go elsewhere for a kiss. <sighs> Then I will go elsewhere to find my prince. Uh, uh. Oh my god, that was too adorable! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Huh? Hello, human! What are you doing? I'm a princess, and I'm sleeping. Oh! Well, do you want me to take you to my awesome bed? Yes. Okay! I have captured the princess! Yeah! <laughs> Wait, instead of the villain, could I be the brave prince to save you? Yes. Okay, to my awesome castle! Yeah! <laughs> there you go. The princess is safe in my bed. Um, now what? Prince needs to kiss the princess. Kiss? But I don't even have lips! <clears throat> I guess I can make an exception. You again! I'm going to bow that man of the canine! Uh, Papyrus, please stop using that word! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What's the deal, princess? Did you find a prince yet? Mm. Guess not. Huh? Uh, so, I'm the princess now? Cool. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Metaton. Would you like to play a game with me? A game, darling? I'm rather busy. Why is this so important that you had to call me in the middle of- Uh, it's an acting game. I thought you'd want to be a part of it. Uh... Who could say no to that, darling? Alright, where's the script? Hmm, a bit shabby, but I can work with this. Sleeping Beauty? And what part will I be playing as? The prince. Oh my, a charming noble prince? Great choice. And you will be the princess, right? Very good decision. 
Now, is there going to be a cold reading audition prior mm. to the performance, or will this be a more of an improvisational piece? And there's not even any blocking in this script. No lighting or music cues. Just hmm? do what you think is right. You're the professional here. I know you'll do great. I like your style, darling. Let's get started. In the dense caves, I search and reach a bed of golden flowers. Upon them lies a beautiful princess, sleeping soundly. The almost unsettling stillness of her slumber made me realize... <laughs> darling, stop giggling. You're supposed to be sleeping. Sorry. It's fine, darling. Um, line. Made me realize? Right, thank you. Made me realize this must be the curse of a magic spell. And the only way for her to wake is from a loving kiss. P pardon I don't believe I was told about that. Don't worry, darling, it's just acting. Frisk, you're fidgeting again. This is silly. You know what? I don't think you're cut out for this part. But don't worry, I know how to fix this problem. Let's get you the right outfit. You look stunning, darling. Oh my. Take two. Oh my. A sudden drowsiness has come over me. Sadly, there is no prince to save me from his curse. Now I must fall into an eternal slumber, all alone. Ah, I can only hope for a miracle as I drift off. That's your cue, darling. Darling? Oh, I apologize, Metaton, but Frisk left the room a while ago. <laughs> well, that's fine. I can handle a two-part act on my own. Keep that camera rolling. And action! Oh! Uh... Sorry, I made you trip. Uh, uh... What the <laughs> heck? Hmm... I think I've had all the fun I can have with this game. Time to go home before Mom worries. Today might have not gone exactly as I planned, but it was still fun. Hey, kiddo. Are you finally done with that game of yours? <sighs> Apparently so. <sighs> I swear, when you set your mind to something, you really go all out. Huh? <laughs> the well, that's enough harassment for one day. You're under arrest, you know. I'm going to the surface grillbies, and what I'm going to end up explaining and telling the grills that a certain child won't stop kissing my face because he thinks it's funny. <laughs>